Coronary artery disease is when these arteries, the coronary arteries that you can see I'm pulling up on this heart, start to develop plaques inside, narrowing the artery, which could eventually lead to a myocardial infarction, which is a fancy pants name for a heart attack. And this one pretty much is linked to all four. Too much mechanical stress and inflammation can irritate the inside lining of these blood vessels. And the inside lining of the blood vessels is called the endothelium. And even too high of blood glucose levels or blood sugar levels due to insulin insensitivity can also irritate the endothelium. And all of this creates an environment where the excess lipids can start to accumulate and stick to these areas of irritation on the endothelium and start to form a plaque, which again will start to create a blockage in the blood vessel. A stroke can be a very similar problem to coronary artery disease, but instead of a plaque forming in the artery to the heart, it forms in an artery that feeds the brain, like the internal carotid artery. But I should mention that many strokes are often caused by an embolism, which is a clot that travels from another location. And heart failure can be from multiple causes, including some of the situations that we just discussed. Like if someone were to have a heart attack and some of their cardiac muscle fibers were to die, the pumping capacity of the heart would go down. Or let's say someone had long-term unmanaged hypertension. This excess workload could eventually cause the heart to fail.